Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to trace this logo just by using shapes. This is from one of the famous designers that I love, Aaron Draplin. And you can see here, I traced his logo literally within five minutes. And I'm going to show you how to trace this logo very easily. Typically, I'd love to go on Pinterest and you can see I found the logo here and there's plenty of other logos. And once again, I want to iterate on the importance of not copying logos, but use it for practice, you know, use it to improve your pen tool skills or shape building skills in Illustrator. Never copy um, logos because of copyright and because it's not going to help you grow as a designer. So, you know, go on Pinterest, find a logo that you like and then try to take that logo and actually trace it. So once I found the logo that you like, you just right click on Pinterest and press copy image. Then you go into Illustrator and press paste. Control V to paste it in, right? Then typically what I do is I scale it and then I go to my layers panel and I put it on this lower layer. And then in this layer, if you double click that layer, you can see I dim the image a little bit so I can just focus purely on the shapes. And then what you can do is you can press the lock button, OK, and it should lock the layer with a little lock pick, as you can see here. And now I've got this logo here. I'm going to click on my top layer, which is the design layer. Then I'm just going to go into Illustrator and start to trace over this logo. Before I do any tracing, I want to press P for the pen tool to make a guide. You can see my smart guides are turned on. You can turn them on by pressing Control U. I'm just going to go to the top, left click once, hold shift, and then left click again, and then press control or command five. Once you do that, you should see the guide. If you can't see it, press control semicolon, and it should open that. So now what we can actually do is build one side of the logo and then flip it and reflect it to make it uh, the full logo. So first up, I'm gonna start to build out the shapes. I'll press M for the rectangle tool. And I'll sort of locate this section here like this. And you can see I'll try and make it as accurate as possible. I'm going to press A for the direct section tool. Select this corner to get this round. And you can see the little white circle. I'll bring this up. And that's how we get this rounded U shape. I'll then also start to build out these shapes. So M to build a rectangle again. I'll drag in a rectangle here. And I'm going to make it full so you guys can see. And then I'm going to select this anchor point and I'm going to drag this down like that. I will then make a, another square up here. As you can see there to make that shape. Once you're happy with this, what we can do is go to the Pathfinder tool and click Unite and it should make it all one shape now, which is super awesome. So we have this shape. Now what we can do is make the middle shape. So once again, I'm going to use my shape, just the rectangle tool and make sure that it's all aligned and snapped into place. As you can see there, I'll press P for the pen tool to add an anchor point here so I can make sure that it's on this stroke. So select the stroke and then press P and then I'm going to drag it here like that just to make it accurate and then I'm going to press M and do another rectangle and it can it can overlap because we're going to cut it out anyway and make sure that it's aligned with the with the guideline there I'm going to bring that up like this and then once again using the direct section tool select the corner to round that off just like that and then now you can see I've got this one shape and these other shapes and just to show you, I'm going to make the color, uh, the blue color here. And I'm just going to make sure everything is unlocked by pressing Control Alt 2 and should unlock the bottom shape if you've locked it. I'll select everything here, press Shift M for the Shape Builder tool and hold Option or, or Alt if you're on a Windows. And you can see now this little minus pops up next to my mouse. I can literally left click and drag all the way through like that and it should cut out all those shapes. Then what I want to do is I have these shapes here, these two shapes. I can group these together by pressing Control G. Press O for the reflect tool. Locate the center point or the guide and hold Alt or Option. Left click once. Once you left click once, you'll get this box pop up and it will say 
preview so you, you can see what's going to happen. Make sure it's on vertical and then click copy. This should literally flip the logo or the shapes, as you can see, on the other side directly, you know, perfectly symmetrical. Once we've done that, I'm going to select this all, go back to my Pathfinder tool and click Unite. If it doesn't connect, you've got to make sure that the lines are exactly on top of each other or overlapping a little bit to make sure that it pluses together. So now I can turn off my guides. I can move this logo out of the way and you can see we have this perfect logo. And then I can just move my layers. I can unlock or turn off my layer, bring this back in, and then, you know, drag out a color. And now we've got this super cool logo and, you know, we can do whatever we want with it. But that's how you create or trace any logo, guys. And hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Remember, this is not my logo. This is Aaron Draplin's logo and just a cool little experiment to help you guys show you how you can trace a logo. It's not that hard. Just with a bit of practice, you can become a master at doing it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like comment and subscribe to this YouTube channel because I create awesome design content about branding and business and it's going to help you grow as a designer. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Have an awesome day.